students i am bindu i hope you all are doing well let's begin today's session in our previous session we have learned about the topics of indian national congress dravida munetra kazakam sixth president of india first non congress prime minister of india in today's session we are going to learn mainly about the emergence of regional aspirations learning outcomes by the end of this session you will be able to understand about emergence of regional aspirations aspirations of andhra pradesh as some moment punjab agitation keywords surreptitiously in a way that attempts to avoid notice or attention secretively autonomy the right or condition of self government migration movement from one region to another assassination murder by sudden or secret attack often for political reasons let us look at the concept map of this lesson emergence of regional aspirations let us look at the three movements for greater autonomy that took place in different parts of india andhra pradesh assam and punjab aspirations of andhra pradesh the congress led central government frequently changed the chief ministers of andhra pradesh this was considered as a form of disrespect from the national congress leadership and it insulted the pride of telugu people ntr founded the telugu desham party tdp in 1982 to define the honor and self respect of the telugu speaking people the party introduced many popular schemes like midday meals and liquor prohibition these helped it win the 1982 elections In 1984 NTR was dismissed by the governor while he was in the US for a surgery He 
he challenged the governor's actions. As he had the support of MLAs, he was reappointed as the chief minister. Assam movement. In Assam, the Bengali language is also used as a major language along with Assamese. The Bengalis occupied the lower and middle ranks of the local administration. The Assamese speakers felt treated as second class citizens by the Bengali administration. Many migrants from Bangladesh came to Assam. Due to political insecurity or natural disasters. This worsened issues for the locals who were afraid of losing their cultural tradition. In the late 1970s, the All Assam Students Union, AASU, led a social movement against the central government. Primarily aimed at removing the outsiders. People of Assam faced challenges affecting their culture, demographics, means population tally and economy. Non-Assamese communities held control of significant trades such as tea and oil. And it did not benefit the locals. People demanded employment opportunities along with the removal of outsiders and utilization of resources for their benefit. These demands led to communal division as the migraines were mostly Muslims. The movement soon became anti-Bengali, anti-left, anti-non-Assamese and anti-Indian. The central government stepped in and the discussion lasted for three years. Finally, an agreement was signed in 1984. The Congress government stepped down and the Assam Ghana Parishad AGP emerged. However, these changes did not address the long-term issues including border issues with Bangladesh and the inability to differentiate between old and new Bengali settlers. Due to the 
overemphasizes on Assamese culture, tribes like Bodos, Kasis, Mizos, and Karbis were in danger. Violence broke out in Assam and mass killings took place in the name of ethnic cleansing. The central government increased armed forces in the northeastern region to promote peace. But this led to the suspension of the rights of the people. Thus, the conflict between Bengalis and Assamese has turned into a sensitive inter-community conflict. The Punjab agitation in language and religion Differences led to a movement for autonomy in Punjab as well. The state felt that its contributions to the country were ignored. Punjab claimed for Chandigarh as the new state capital. More water from Bakra Nangal Dam and increased Sikh requirement in the Indian Army. In 1978, the Akali Dal urged the central government to amend the constitution to increase state powers and promote decentralization. Governmental power distribution the SAD, Shiromani Akali Dal, and Congress faced increasing electoral competition. In 1980, the Akali government was dismissed and Congress returned to power in the central government. This created a feeling that the central government was discriminating against six. The militant Sikh leader, Bindran Bale, promoted separatism and demanded a Sikh state named Khalistan. The militants imposed an orthodox life code leading to communal attacks on non-Sikhs. The six separatist groups occupied the Golden Temple and the army had to intervene to vacate them.
This was seen as an act of violation of the holiest shrine of the Sikhs. and increased their alienation. The Sikh agitation resulted in the assassination of Prime Minister Indira Gandhi in 1984. This led to riots in Delhi resulting in thousands of Sikhs being attacked and murdered and their properties being destroyed. After Rajiv Gandhi became the Prime Minister, he negotiated with the SAD President, Sant Langowal. But peace was Short lived as Langowal was killed by militants during the Punjab elections. In April 1986, an assembly at the Ekal Takht made a declaration for an independent state of Khalistan. Several groups claiming to be fighters for an independent state engaged in terrorist activities. The Indian government claimed that Pakistan supported these terrorists. In Punjab, Sikh militants clashed with the police, killing journalists. Politicians, artists and activists and targeting civilians. All this gradually alienated the militants from the Punjabi people, including Sikhs. Effective police action broke down the militancy. And as public sympathy declined rapidly, peace finally returned to Punjab by the end of the 1990s.